Attention, Sebastian Masuda, designer of 6% Doki Doki, and his team are coming to Canada! As part of the New Generation Kawaii Tour, starting August 15th to 25th, he will be visiting Otakathon in Montreal, as well as Japan Festival in Toronto. Stay tuned to the end for more information. I'm back again to help fix some coordinates. In my last Fixing Coordinates episode, I had patrons fix my coordinates, but today we're back at it and I'm gonna fix some of yours, taking submissions. I chose these coordinates from my topics email, and that's the way that I am now taking all submissions for submitting to Fixing Coordinates. You just have to send me your coordinate photo, username, handle, or whatever name you want me to use, your preferred pronouns, and a stock photo of your uh, main piece and then tell me what you want to change about it. Let's get into it. I tried to go, my topics email is a little bit of a mess right now after a certain video. Emails that weren't actual topic requests, they were just trying to... Anyways, my topics email is a bit of a mess right now, but I tried to go back to the very beginning and find where the fixing coordinate started. And so I'm trying to start from the very first ones and work my way to the most recent. Hey Lore, I put together this coordinate for a family trip and looking back on the photos, something just seemed off to me. I'm not sure if it's the blouse, the headpiece, or something else. Any tips for improvement or perhaps some alternative piece recommendation? I seeing this coordinate, I really like the top piece here and of, of the blouse. I really like this like ruffle here, but then the sleeves are throwing me off a little bit. I think that if you wore this same coordinate as is, but change the blouse for one that's sleeveless so that you just get the nice neck detailing without having sleeves and you can just have it end here and then wear your wrist cuffs, like that would be perfect. I love the beret, I love the socks, I love the shoes, I love the wrist cuffs. I just think that that extra detailing, that lacy princess, sleeve is like throwing it off. Alternatively, if you wanted to use the princess blouse, I would try to make it so that that seam, that edge like lines up or even is underneath, like pin it underneath the sleeve and then wear a headpiece that's more elabor elaborate and extreme, maybe like veils, maybe add like an outer, an overskirt and like wear full tights and maybe like some peaking bloomers and really like play it up over the top. I definitely think you could wear this coordinate as is without the blouse, but I think that if you wanted to switch out for a different one, to just find one that's sleeveless but has a fun neck detail to it. I think that it would also be cool to play around with some of these like darker pinks, the pinks in the shadow of the roses, or even like this darker blue. I want to shame whoever took this photo of you and cut off your feet. Man, I have some words for them. They need to include your feet in coordinate photos. They can't be cutting off your cute shoes. Hello, Lore. I'm having the age-old problem of coordinating an OP. Shanghai Doll was one of those dresses I knew I needed as soon as it came out, and I bought it without really thinking of how I was going to coordinate it. You gotta hold on pause there when you're buying something you always got to think about how you're going to coordinate it and how it will fit with pieces that you already have that's such a helpful thing to do when shopping whenever i'm buying a new piece i always try to coordinate it in my head five different ways with pieces that i already own and it helps me decide whether or not i'm going to get that piece and if i realize that i need other things for the coordinates in my head that i'm planning i'll see like is it worth it to get those other pieces to make these coordinates happen and would i be able to use these these pieces that i also need to get with other things that i currently own i think you've already learned that but <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out there for anybody who's watching. Whether you're starting a Lolita wardrobe or if you are just a Lolita hoarder and trying to buy less things, it's a good skill to use. This was a quick outfit I threw together to wear to a convention, but I'm wondering if you have any ideas as to how else I can change it up the look since it's not a lot of colors to work with. I do plan on wearing a different wig. This is really cute, really cute coordinate. A quick thing that you could do to change it up is just wear ankle socks and a boater hat maybe. I think that would be a really cute look. I really want to know if these details, the waist bow, um, the, the butterfly, these like bows, I want to know if those are removable because I feel like the base color isn't that hard to coordinate. You could throw in just any other color you want with it. You could 
try some purples and blues with this solid color pink or maybe even do a pink and red coordinate but i know that this specific like dusty rose would be hard to coordinate with i would potentially try to see if those can be removed or like covered up because i think that without those there would be a lot more options to style this. Since it's an OP, you can't really change the top of it too much, but you have to kind of think about what to add on top of it. Thinking about that right now when it's so hot is such a nightmare. <laughs> but I mean, something that you can consider for the winter is wearing like a big frilly underskirt and some sort of over overskirt or overdress would be really cute with this. It would be really cool to see it done up in a, an over the top extreme elegant way. That dusty rose will definitely limit you, but if you can switch those out or remove it, you'll have a lot more options. Also, it would be really cool if you can't remove those to work in a bunch of gold accessories because the tassels here are gold. I got this dress in the Innocent World Lucky Pack last year and I absolutely love it, but I've only worn it two times so far because I don't really know what to do with it. The blue is unlike anything I have ever seen, so getting a match is out of the question. But what else could I wear with this dress apart from cream? I hope you're I hope you have some ideas because I love how creative you are with choosing colors. Thank you so much. Let's take a look. These coordinates are so cute. So cute, I love both of them. I don't think that there's anything wrong with either of them, but I can see how challenging this would be to change up. And I just wanna say that I really love that hat. That is a good hat. And I think that these shoes are black, or maybe they're navy. And I think that some people would be mad about that, but I really like this. It, it reminds me of like old Kara magazines, really feeling it. But I think that this would be really cool, of course, with ankle socks. I think that it would be interesting to try different textures with this, maybe like a sheer polka dot white blouse, a floral texture. I know that sounds crazy, but like try it out. See how you could work with it. Different colors. This would be great to work with some golds, even some blues that aren't the same blue, but similar tones of blue. Even a brown or beige top would be really cute with this. You could go in more of a mori, like foresty kind of style. I would definitely look up um, mori references, mori k, mori girl, and see if anything that you see inspires you. I know it's not the most creative <laughs> advice, but I think that using maybe a gray, I'm really unsure about the color matching on this cord as well as the wig with the bonnet. I tried to match the bag, shoes, and cardigan to the print, but I think the color of the bag is really off. And when it comes to the wig, I'm just really unsure about it because the wig is so short and I see a lot of people wearing long wigs with bonnets. Okay, I'm not a good example right now because I'm wearing a long wig, but I really like short wigs in Lolita. Even with bonnets too, it can be cute. I know that you definitely see a lot more long hair in Lolita just because it's sort of the norm, but I, I think that we should experiment more with short hair and short wigs with Lolita because I think it's really cute. You have different options and then you can see more of your dress, more of your coordination. I think that this coordinate is really cute. I think that I would change out some of these pieces and almost make two coordinates with them. I know this is controversial, but I think that this coordinate would be really cute with boots some brown boots. And then I think I would s keep the underskirt and switch out this red blouse. Something it, I would keep this, this current coordinate without the red. Like I would keep it more white and brown. And then I would use the red in a different coordinate and try to focus more on the red. So I would kind of keep this current coordinate. Personally, I would change out the shoes, have like some brown boots that are closer to the brown color in the print and then have a white, or beige colored top that matches the underskirt. I love the bonnet, I love the hair. I maybe like add in something in the bonnet, like a bow, something onto your hair. If you feel like it's not full, maybe you could find like a strand of flowers that are similar to the flowers along the bottom. And then I would take the red cardigan, red top, and I would have a coordinate without the underskirt and maybe with a red headpiece still Red lipstick, maybe red shoes. I really love 
brown prints with like taro purple and red I've done them a lot <laughs> I don't know why it just works even when it's not in the print I think that it's really pretty I think because they're warm colors they look nice together I'm really sweaty I think that my summer videos are gonna be a little bit shorter than my normal videos we'll see Thank you everybody for submitting your coordinates. Please keep sending them in. I really enjoy this series. If you have any suggestions for these coordinates, please leave them in the comments below. It's always good to see from different perspectives, different styles, different opinions, because we can learn and grow and try new things. As always, stay lovely. Hey friends, I'm here with Ghost Girl Goods. Yay! So I'm Alexia, also known as Ghost Girl, the owner of Ghost Girl Goods and I am the Kawaii Ambassador for 6% Doki Doki here in Canada. I'm helping to arrange the new generation Kawaii tour and I'm very excited. And you can find the 6% Doki Doki products also on my website as I am their official Canadian distributor. Sebastian Masada is coming to Canada and he will be going to Montreal and Toronto for his first time as part of the New Generation Kawaii Tour. Uh, the New Generation Kawaii Tour is a way for Masuda to spread Kawaii culture around the world. Sebastian Masuda has already been to many parts of the world, including France and many parts of the States, as well as making his movement around Japan. Maybe you don't know who Sebastian Masuda is. so. I will tell you. Sebastian Masuda is the creator of the most sensational kawaii brand called 6% Doki Doki. He is also the artistic director for popular Japanese pop artist Kyari Pamyu Pamyu, as well as the very colorful, very cool Kawaii Monster Cafe in Harajuku, Japan. You might have known that Sebastian Masuda creates clothing, but he is also a very well-known artist in Japan. He has created many sculptures, has done many art exhibitions. Along with this tour is the Time After Time capsule. This is a participatory art project where you get to bring a very special kawaii item, whether it's colorful, handmade, or just a special item to you, and you get to include it in this time capsule. The time capsules were also brought to many other parts of the world. In 2020, the capsules will be displayed throughout Japan, probably for the awesome 2020 Olympics. We hope that you can include your items or your letters in the time after time capsule as well when it comes to Toronto. The first event on the new generation Kawaii tour is Otakuthon in Montreal. Otakuthon is actually the largest anime convention in Montreal and we're so excited to have Sebastian Masuda as a guest there. Some of the events that you will find Masuda at are the opening and closing ceremonies. The fashion show will start on Saturday at 11 a.m. and will be a special collaboration of Ghost Girl Goods and 6% Doki Doki. He'll have some autograph sessions, there will be a panel about 6% Doki Doki, and you'll even find Sebastian Masuda DJing at the Otaku Dance. We really hope that you will be there. And even better, you can also buy 6% Doki Doki products in the dealer's hall all weekend long. The Time After Time capsule workshop and event will be held at the Japan Foundation August 22nd. It's free, you just have to reserve a spot ahead of time to go. It's an interactive event where you can take part in the kawaii movement by including a special item of yours in the time capsule. Sebastian Masuda will also be making a special lecture at George Brown College, Casaloma Campus on August 23rd. This is a free, open to all event. You just have to register online to reserve a spot. The lecture is called Kawaii Meets Art and Fashion. Bastian Masuda will be talking about the movement of Kawaii culture and Kawaii fashion, the history and the global impact it's made. He will also be touching upon the power and the philosophy of the word Kawaii. Japan Festival at the Mississauga Celebration Square is a two day event, but all the pop culture events will take place on Saturday. However, you can buy from the Ghost Girl Goods and 6% Doki Doki booth both days. Japan Festival has free admission, you just have to show up. It's that easy. There will be a 6% Doki Doki and Ghost Girl Goods fashion show Saturday at around 5pm. We'd love to see you there. Don't miss out on your chance to see Sebastian Masuda and shop 6% Doki Doki and Ghost Girl Goods. We hope to see you there at this very awesome and kawaii event. Please don't miss out. Come and support us at either one or all of the events. And you know, cause some of them are free. So we are hope to see you there and we're very excited.